people of YouTube, what's going on? Ken Jackson here from the fourth dimension. Um, today we have a quick product review. Another product review for lawn and garden. It's Ryobi One Plus. This is not the cheapest version. This is the 18 volt. You can get this pretty cheap. Got it from Home Depot. I think it's a Home Depot exclusive. But I got this for like 350. You can always catch these on sale. Father's Day, July 4th, Labor Day, stuff like that. You can always catch these on sale. So, where's our product number? You can actually use that number right up there. Type it in on Home Depot, it'll pull it right up. Um, if you don't trust Home Depot, where is our actual product? Yeah, I'm looking for the SKU. Well, got the SKU. I'm looking for the actual product numbers. Really, so that doesn't need to be there. You don't need to see that. Um, all right, so you can pull it up with the SKU or, oh, there's the model number. I'm tripping, I'm tripping right there. P1190VMN, VNN. So what's included in the box? Obviously the lawnmower, you got two batteries, the charger, the grass catcher, the key start, the mulch plug, so forth and so on. The operator's manual. So I've already pulled it out of the box. Let's just make sure everything's here. Two four amp per hour batteries. This one is low on charge. That's gonna make you put in the charger. You get a rapid charger. Thing that is like quick charge for your phone. Ah, my elbow. We just want to make sure everything's here. Operator's manual with the screws for the attachments. The other battery should be in this box. Yes, it is. Is it low? Yep. So, this cardboard can get thrown away. This does need a small assembly so I'll do that real quick I can put the batteries on charge and assemble it I have extra batteries and another thing here's something you can do if you're into a specific brand DeWalt, DeWalt, Milwaukee, Nikita, whatever just go to Home Depot go somewhere Amazon wherever Lowe's wherever you want to go Right, whenever they have sales and they're giving away the free batteries, just pile up on batteries, man. If you got to get an extra tool and then they'll give you the batteries for free, just pile up on the batteries, man. Just pile up on them. I understand we still prefer gas lawnmowers and gas weed users and stuff like that. But you can have both. It's okay to have both. All right? <laughs> um, just basically what I did with this is... There, there was a sale and there was a kit of a three battery kit and it came with a tool for free which i got a new impact wrench out of three batteries now i got like 15 ryobi batteries big and small and this comes with two more batteries so i guess this is 17 batteries we're gonna put the batteries on charge we're gonna assemble this and then we're gonna come right back all right now that it's assembled let's go over a few things that it has right so the assembly does not take that long. The instructions, obviously, with any tool, instructions could be better. In my opinion, could be a little bit more detailed, better pictures, whatever. Anyway, so basically, you can fold it so you can store it. And really, the only assembly you had to do was to put these, these legs on here, these two right here. Put the mulch bag onto the rails. Not the mulch bag, put the grass catcher onto the rails. As you can see, pull that up and this hook's right there that you place into it. Then put your battery in there. This is your height adjuster. And under the bottom, the blade is already installed. And how you're gonna change the blade is just like a regular gas lawnmower. Put a block of wood or something right there and unscrew it. Unscrew the bolt that's on there. I can show you the blade real quick. Don't want to accidentally start. Yeah, put a block of wood or something right there. Unscrew it. Take it off. Blah, blah, blah. The instruction manual tells you 
pretty much everything it tells you what to do it just could be more detailed now the battery storage is right up in there we have a six amp per hour battery up in there right now and that is a lithium 18 volt so this one should be a lot stronger and last a lot longer since it's one of their more high performance batteries head adjuster is pretty simple you just pull the stick out and then move it to whatever slots you want it to be in. I'm trying to do this with one hand. I'm so sorry. That's why I put my foot on the thingy on the wheel. You gotta pull it out. You can see it moving up and down. Put it into a slot. And then that's about it. To start it, all you're gonna have to do, hold this button. What well, tells you right here? God damn it. <laughs> hold the button, pull the lever. Pull the right lever. So when you the start, key, the start key is also in there, the red one. So you can just pull that out whenever you're done with it. And obviously whenever you're done with the mower, you can unscrew it or whatever you want to do, fold the handles. So. Take it to some grass real quick. This, just for reference. Do I have anything to reference this? Not really. Not really. I don't have anything to reference it. Hopefully, you can get the idea of the size of it. It's not. It's honestly not that big, and the bag is kind of small. This is a 16 inch. So for this yard, since we live on the corner, I'm thinking we would need more like a 20 inch. Make it more wide so we can cut more grass and do less rotations around the yard or whatever. But I'm going to see how this one works out. See something at the bottom. I'm going to see how this one works out. If it does a good job, like I said. Okay, never mind. It's nothing bad. Like I said, um, this is the 18 volt. I'm only cutting one yard. It's not like I'm doing me and the neighbors and somebody else's. So this, theoretically, this should be just fine for this yard. The backyard isn't big, but like I said, this is a house on the corner. The front yard isn't big. It's more so of the length of how far the front yard goes because it goes all the way to the, the mailbox. So I think that's what's going to waste some of the battery. But I'm going to go over one thing real quick. Let's see if it starts in the grass. So again, as you can see, the grass is not that tall, but we're gonna go over this. We're gonna see how long it takes once again, just like the, uh, the weed eater, the, the trimmer, whatever, and I'll let you guys know how many batteries we have to waste. We have a six amp that's fully charged. We have the two four amps that's charging in the house. And we have some more. So like I said, this is a medium sized house, a two story house, medium sized yard. Backyard is not that big. Only thing we have to worry about is the length. As you can see, it's gonna go all the way back to the mailbox, but there's not a lot of grass to cut. It's somewhat, but it's not a lot. So I'll catch you guys in a minute.
we just finished all right it looks pretty good the lawnmower did really good like i really recommend this one thing one big thing i want to point out is that if somebody's calling you like hey come answer the phone or you got something in the yard you don't have to worry about let me go over here to the concrete or let me tilt it back and crank it up or whatever you just tilt it up press the button and it starts <laughs> like it cuts over the grass so easy one rule of thumb is that if it sounds like the battery is about to die it's probably because the bag is full and the blade is like struggling to cut the new grass and the old grass and like empty the bag and like the battery might not even be <laughs> sorry for saying like so much the battery probably is still at full charge not mine but as an example the battery will probably still be at full charge or at least at three and you just need to empty the bag and the battery still has like another 20 to 30 minutes to go it did a good job right now we're at half of a battery you can't see it because of the sun but we're at half of a battery it might be three the sun is really in the way yeah we had three so we did a really good job we ran through a six amp and we ran through another four amp but it was a regular four amp not a high performance one that six amp cut more than half of the front yard let me show you the long stretch that i was talking about look at that cat right there <laughs> so this is where my yard ends if you look over here right at the mailbox well i didn't cut that part because that's for the neighbors but it's a long stretch a long stretch and the lawnmower did really good so it cut all of that and walk to the front i don't know who put this right here and also since it's been storming we got to fix the fence but yeah as you can see there's a long stretch the lawnmower cut all of that now when it got to like over there where the trash can is it that's when the battery started to die it started to die but it didn't die when i had to switch to the other side of the driveway that's when it ended up dying but like i said it could probably make it last longer <laughs> you probably make it last longer if you empty the bag on time because i ran it with the bag full a few times and yeah you should be good to go man i recommend it it's really good it's real lightweight it's easy to push push it with one hand it's real easy I actually lowered it and went over a few spots more than twice just to cut the grass a little bit lower. So maybe that also pertained to the battery dying a little bit faster or me make, not making it as far. But like I said, the yard isn't that big. It's just a long stretch, just a long yard. To be honest with you, if they would have pulled the house back a little bit more, made the house a little bit longer, I would be happy with that. Because <laughs> the backyard is small, but like the sides the size of the yard is like really long but yeah that's about it for this video i'm gonna insert a clip of me cutting in the square in the backyard so you can see how easy it was to start it up and cut it thank you guys for tuning in like i said i recommend this it's pretty cheap man it's pretty cheap no gas no oil no fuel mixture nothing like that put the battery up in there you good to go i thought this was the one with the uh the battery holders like they have the battery compartment and then they have the battery holders up here, but this is not that one. But pretty much you can just put a battery on the shelf once that one dies. Or if you can rig something up that a set of battery on the handles or by the lawnmower. As a spare battery by the handles or on the lawnmower. Once that one dies, flip it up, put the new one in. It's just real simple. Start it back up, finish cutting. Real simple, huh? Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.